All righty, all righty. So, hey, Tony here, Ram Ventures 2.0. What are we doing and where are we at? Well, what we're doing is we're going to be stealth camping. And where are we at? Well, this is uh, Merck, a drug manufacturer that uh, is along a river. And I picked a spot and it's straight ahead of us. Uh, you may have seen it when we pulled in, but we got a boat launch over there that you can park and walk your kayak or inflatable boat, inner tubes, anything that you want on the river. Uh, so that's right over there. And the fence that surrounds the property for Merck um, has an opening near the river, but up on a bank and it's right over there. All right. Now we got a field over this way, yeah, or so that way. Um, there's nothing this way, but there's uh, some soccer fields, uh, different things like that, basketball courts over in that area. And there are some people over there. I don't know if it'll get busier as the day goes on, but I got to get into the woods, start getting set up. So what do you say? Let's do this. All right, let's go. So I got my backpack. Now I'm parked at a spot right here where it says uh, Riverside Borough. There's a little sign right here that says Carrion Access Parking. So we're going to, I don't see any signs around that says no overnight parking. <laughs> so as far as anybody knows, we're going to be uh, doing a carry in. So we're parking here and I'm going to see if we can park here overnight. I think we won't have a problem. So I got my backpack problem is going to be getting my backpack in the woods without uh we're just going to do it all right so we're parked right there I'm not even strapping my straps because <laughs> it's not far of a walk. All right, so we've got the boat access right over there, but we want to go to the left. I, there's not much traffic on this road, which is good. Uh, I did see one car come out of the employee parking lot, but yeah, right over there is the spot. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to try to go. Yeah, so we just want to... Oh, there's a hole right there. So we just want to get along this fence. Looks like they've mowed. So one nice thing is it looks like they've mowed the grass. You can see this fence runs down along the property and right back here it drops off to the river you can see the river down there uh, yeah so this is our spot right back here let me get in here all right so i don't think anybody saw us hey, yeah well, i'm i'm liking this tree right over here this big maple Tell you what, first thing I want to do is get rid of any dead branches that are, you know, sticking straight down because those can poke you in the eye in the middle of the night if you get up to walk around. So I like to always make sure that my my eye height, there's no sticks. I had one 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 time that just grazed my eye. Uh, so yeah, I always cautious of that now. All right, I gotta get the backpack off. I gotta pick that tree and maybe one over there. All right. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna start by cleaning up branches that are dead on the ground because I don't wanna trip over anything. That would not be good. All right. Yeah. So we got a lot of dead wood. I might 
try to toss them all in an area. Yeah, kind of keep them all together. So that that does it for all the all the sticks and twigs. All right, I think we got a nice straight path. So we're gonna use that tree right there and that maple. And that leaves me three trees right here, all the way over there, that I'll show you what I'm gonna do something with. Uh, but that's gonna be perfect. All right, let me get the, my stuff out of the bag and get set up. We gotta watch kind of over here because that's where the traffic's coming from. I've seen one UPS truck and one uh, pest control <laughs> truck go by and I could hear what they were listening to in the radio. Yeah. All right, so first thing I wanna do, oh, there's another stick. All right, so I've got this here what I was talking about, I've got that uh, mini ridge line by one wind. I'm going to use that and string that up across here. We've got the river down there, so we don't really got to worry about anybody seeing us. But this entrance right over here, where that boat launch is, where they got to carry their stuff down and come up, they can see right in here. So I've got a camo uh, mesh that we're gonna string up be between these trees. That way, if anybody's walking or anybody's jogging or biking or anything like that, if they look in here, they're not really gonna see me in the hammock or cooking, all right? Yeah, let's get that strung up. All right, so this is just a thin mesh, and I'm. <laughs> we got some Prusik knots, and I've just tied the uh, the camo cloth to that, and I'm just tightening it up. Yeah. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna probably grab some of these branches, just because this is pretty thin, uh, and stand them up to kind of obscure it a little bit more. All right. All right, so I found some uh, tree branches with leaves on them. It was from a downed branch over here. So I broke a few off and stuck them up against here. Just give it a little bit more uh, cover. But I think that's all we're going to do. All right, let me, let me get my hammock set up. Fire department. All right. All right, you're gone. Okay, so this is the uh, one wind hammock with the uh, stuff sack, but I took it all the way out of the stuff sack. So this has got the mosquito net. Uh, it's the bottom entry. So this, <laughs> I'm right on the edge of the bank where it slopes down and goes to the river. Yeah. I just don't want to do any bloopers out of this thing. All right, so I am going to give us a test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be good. Yeah, this is perfect. I'll sleep with my head up at that end. Yeah, I'm not really feeling mosquitoes and bugs yet, uh, but we are next to the river, so yeah, might be buggy. Who knows? All right, I got to get the stool set up, our table, and I got to grab what we're eating. I'll show you that here. All right, let me get out of here. Oh yeah, this is a good spot here. And I got the mesh right here. Got my tree right there. Got some cover right behind me. All right, so I think I can sit here, put the table right there, and go ahead and we'll cook here. 
and I'm low enough, there's some vegetation right below the fence that I think that's got us very, very hidden at this height. As long as we stay at this height, I don't think anybody will see us. Yeah. All right, let me get that table out. All right, so I got the table here. Now, it's not the table I've been using. It's a different table. Um, so I backed up just a little bit. I want to get a little bit more secure right here. And plus, I can see the river pretty good sitting here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this table together. This one's a little bit more trickier to put together than my, my um, Trexology table. But I like this table, and I want to... It's I-Climb. So let me get it put together, and I'll show you what it looks like. So there we have it. There is another piece that goes, it's like a pole. It goes up. Oh, I'm falling to the side. All right. Um, that we can hang a light off of. But we can always hang it off there or up here, but we're not really going to use a light right now. So let's, uh, I'll just put that bag away. All right. So this goes together tougher than our uh, Trexology table, but it's a nice secure table. Yeah, we just gotta find a nice level spot to set it. All right, right there is good. All right, let me get uh, let me get our food out. Show you what we're having. Okay, <laughs> so there was that UPS truck just drove by again. Yeah. All right. So what are we having? So this is our food bag. Uh, this is our dinner bag. So we've got another bag in there uh, with some other food in it. <laughs> so what are we having for dinner? Let me break it out and I'll show you. I had to keep my voice down. All right. So here's what we're having. So Miss 2.0 cut me up some onions and green peppers and threw some butter in here. Because uh, we are having eggs and we're going to do that. Uh, saute them up in a pan with uh, Cooper Sharp cheese because everything's better with Cooper Sharp cheese. Yep, so we got two organic uh, brown eggs. Actually, I got one more in here. I'm probably going to do three because we got two tortilla wraps. So we got them right here. And look at this. And we're going to throw on that some jalapeno <laughs> salsa. <laughs> jalapeno salsa. Now, this is some of the stuff that we grabbed when we were at... Um, Chick-fil-A, Miss 2.0 and I were there, and I grabbed one of these uh, and didn't use it on my sandwich. So I'm going to use it tonight on my eggs. All right. Well, let me get this cleared off and get our pan set up. I'm going to use our micro burner. So I got that in my coffee cup. <laughs> so that's where I store my, my cup or my burner. So it's in here. So we got our burner and our fuel tank so that's what we're gonna cook on I've got the fire maple pan right here and our spatula so I keep hearing people over there um, so we're gonna use this skillet and that's what we're gonna do our eggs in and I uh, got my spatula so I think uh, I think we're ready to cook <laughs> all right and I am gonna have uh, cowboy coffee later yeah I'll, do, I'll make that after we get our egg done because I don't really want that right now. So it'll be later. All right, let me get this lit. I keep this strapped on my, uh, all the time. It's a carabiner, all right? But it's got a flint striker right there. Uh, it's got a little razor blade right here. There's a whole bunch of functions for it, but it's also a carabiner. So I'm going to grab that, and that's what I'm going to use to light my burner with, uh, and get our get our eggs cooking. Well, no, wait. I want to do those onions and peppers first. What am I thinking? There we go. All right, so I'm going to put this back on my backpack, so I always have it on there. I got it clipped to, uh, just to one of the one of the zipper pulls. Now this pan is a non-stick pan, that fire maple, but 
we got butter in here too because that'll help saute them. Oh yeah, and this 2.0, she was sprinkling pepper and salt in that as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and saute those. All right, oh, they smell good. Oh, I hope it doesn't smell too good. People that are running by might smell it. Yeah, they're sauteing up pretty quick. <laughs> Green pepper is going to take a little bit longer to saute than the onions. Probably should have had them separated out, but I'm not that concerned with it. <laughs> so, yeah. And probably what I'm going to do is just crack them all right in, all three eggs right in there and just scramble them right up. <laughs> and then stick the cheese. I'll probably melt the cheese in with the eggs and everything. I'll just melt it all together. And then we'll just scoop it into a wrap and then wrap it up. Yep, I think that's what we're gonna do. Now, some of the tricky part for me is cracking eggs. <laughs> so, yeah, we might have a little shells in there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and crack them right in. And I gotta hold on to the pan because, oh, <laughs> I didn't just dump a shell in. I dumped a whole egg in this. <laughs> um, part, part of the, um, with this smaller burner, everything wants to flip when you go to crack it, so you got to hold the pan. All right, get another egg. Ah, there we go. All right, so we got two. Ah, uh, yes, I got one more. I just don't want to knock that pan off or our, our dinner's going to be all over the ground. Yeah. Like I said, we got one more egg. Now, these are these are some organic egg, brown eggs. Uh, they always look so much better. Ah, uh, went ahead and cracked that one. All right, I got to get scrambling. I think it's cooking pretty quick. I'm just gonna drop it right in there. All this cheese. And chunk it up while it's while it's in the burner. <laughs> it's gonna melt. Yeah. As you see the cheese big chunks there. I'm just chopping them up into cubes and then just flipping our eggs. Getting that cheese melted in there. That's all we gotta do. Then we're gonna pull it off the burner. Boy, that is looking good. Smells great. Yeah, breakfast for dinner. Love it. Yeah, I think that's done. Let's get that off the burner. Turn our burner off. All right, move that aside. And then we just got to get our uh, wraps out and then build us an egg and cheese wrap. There's a car going by. Yeah. All right. So these are our wraps. So I've got the Ziploc bag that we brought them in right there. So I got two wraps. So that's what we're going to add our eggs to. Oh, we can't forget our jalapeno salsa. All right. So right there that is. We'll get those opened up. But first, let me get, let me build one and eat one. And then we'll build the second one. All right. Get our eggs and oh look how cheesy that is oh my gosh that's gonna be good oh yeah so that's got our green peppers and onions in it oh that one ah, I want some of those onions there all right there we have it and I'm gonna move my burner so we can set our pan down there all right, okay, now the salsa. I might not need both packs. Let me just see how much we're gonna put on here. Well, I think that's good. You know what? We got two packs, but I think we're gonna have enough for the second one. And we'll have a whole nother pack for another time, all right. Let me roll this up. All right.
right, there we go. There's another car. I think that's employees leaving. Because I think the, there's not really any, well, I guess there is, but that the main uh, road right here goes to the plant. So, and the gate said uh, employee exit. So that's probably gonna be the majority of the cars. But yeah, all right, here we go. Definitely got the 2.0 approval. Mm. That's another go-to meal. Yes, it is. Mm. Mm. Very good. <laughs> All right. So, sun's working its way down. Watching the river. It's just... Blowing. <laughs> so this is the Susquehanna River. Um, you know, I've talked about the Susquehanna before. It's like one of the oldest rivers in the world, right? Yeah. Neat. Oh, I wish I had my fishing license and fishing pole right now. We'd be doing some fishing. But we can't do it right here. I can't make it down that bank and back up again. That's a little steep for me. All right, I'm going to finish eating, and I'll talk to you in a little while. All right. All right. So I'm all done eating. <laughs> that was great. Just watching the river and listening to all the birds and stuff. Just really, really cool. All right. So what's for dessert? Actually, I didn't bring any dessert. Uh, but let me tell you what we're doing. We're going to walk down to the river. I think I can, like, sneak back out of here. I won't have my backpack, so it won't look obvious. It'll just look like I'm looking around. But I want to go down that boat ramp where people got to carry their um, inner tubes and all that kind of stuff down. I want to go down there and see what that looks like. Uh, but this year, <laughs> where I get my coffee from, this sizzle, um, you can hear I've got ice in here. This will keep the ice all night long. So I'm going to have that sizzle coffee in the morning with over ice so i'm gonna make that make ice coffee tomorrow and we'll do that i've got a couple snacks for later tonight uh but yeah i i, <laughs> I didn't i didn't bring dessert i've been making some desserts but kind of it was my grandson's birthday yesterday and i had a big old piece of cake <laughs> so um yeah, he wanted brownies uh, for his uh, birthday uh, cake. So we had, this 2.0 made a brownie with, oh, I forget what kind of icing it was, but it was good, <laughs> very, very good. All right, so I'm going to make cowboy coffee a little bit later, but let's head on over there. All right, I don't hear anybody. I just hear a dog barking in the distance. There's a whole town over there, too, called Riverside. And then on that side of the river, which they can't see us, um, but there's 11. I believe it's 11. It runs from Danville down to Northumberland. Uh, yeah. And Danville Bridge is right back there. I don't know if we'll be able to see it from uh, the river. We're going to go find out. All right. Here we go. All right. You can't even see our hammock. So we were just sitting right there behind our camo. And uh, right there's the river. And we're just going to swing right around here so this is the, the exit <laughs> so this is that brick partition i don't see anybody yeah so i am thinking oh that's nice that that tree branch is right there too that gives us a little more cover all right so yeah let's go oh, oh yes <laughs> all right yeah there we go. Look back at where we just came from. Yeah, you can't see us back there at all. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the sun's going down. We better hurry. Yeah, so it's just a short distance of a walk right over there. And you can see 
Because I'm the only one parked over there. But there's those fields right over there. Nobody's in the fields. Oh, there's a porta potty way over there. <laughs> Man, that'd be quite a walk. Uh, I'd much rather just go in the woods. Yeah. But hey, there's a porta potty. All right. So let's make it over here. So you can see there's no parking at any time over here. I don't know what that is. They got it all fenced off with barbed wire and everything. Yeah. So you can see no vehicles beyond this point over there where you go down to the river. We're going to try to make our way down there. See how that is. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> concrete. All right. Yeah. So no vehicles beyond this point. We're going to walk down. Well, it's concrete for a little while. Yeah. Oh, here are the birds chirping. You know what? I don't think that's a bird. I think that's what squirrels. They make those noises. Yeah, that's a squirrel up there. All right, so we just made it down off the concrete and now it's mm, dirt path. Doesn't seem like it's slippery. So it's not really mud. All right. Ooh. I don't walk real good since the stroke 16 months ago. So I'm taking my time. It's a little tricky for me. Oh, yep. Just don't want to end up in the river. <laughs> Ooh, look at this bedrock. Look at that. Oh, very nice. So, if you know anything about gold panning, uh, hmm, these are little ridges here. Yeah. Might dig some of these out and do some panning. I might come back here and try that a little bit. Just see what we can find. But look up river. Oh, there you go. Now that's Danville right over there. So when I had my stroke, that's where they took me, Danville Geisinger Hospital. Uh, so I went across that bridge uh, 16 months ago. Yeah. Oh, tell you what, the water is... The Susquehanna River, is, uh, it's a big river, but it's shallow. It's got some deep holes in it, different places, but it's fairly shallow. Oh, look. Look at that down there. Wow. So that's looking south. Now that'll take you to, to Northumberland, Sunbury. You know, we've done some camps down that direction as well. All right, like I was saying, we got some probably encounter some fishermen coming up boats every once in a while but this guy here is going to be doing some fishing looks like yeah he just came firing up the river yeah but we're standing at a place where we can stand so nobody's going to see us where we're at where we're at we're back up this way here over in that direction there yeah yeah, he's probably got a, not a prop or a propeller. He's probably got a jet motor on that boat if he was flying like that. Because there's rocks, like you can see, sticking up right there. They're throughout the river. Yeah, I hear another one coming up. Yeah, it's another John boat down there. Yeah, this is a good time to be fishing. Yeah, yeah, it is. In the evening like this, they start surfacing and things. Yeah. Man, I wish I had a boat. Get out there again. My father-in-law, John, and I had a boat. We didn't really fish the Susquehanna on it. I had a friend, Ted. Him and I used to go fishing all the time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, especially on the uh, Susquehanna River. Great fishing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So you got the bedrock. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> so you got the bedrock running this way, and you you got several of them all in a line all the way up to here. Now, when the river floods and the water is really rushing, 
this acts like a natural <laughs> sluice box. Uh, so that's in the gold panning. If you're uh, gold panning, a lot of times you throw the dirt in the sluice box. But all these ridges right here, it collects all the heavier stuff down in there. So the idea is you dig down as far as you can because the gold will settle to the bottom. And then you dig that out and then put it in the pan, walk over there and start panning it. Maybe we'll do that on one of our videos. Yeah, it's been a while since I gold panned. Yeah, but there's a lot of ridges here. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we're gonna head back, back up the bank here, up this little trail and get back up on top. But straight across over there, there's actually a park. Um, I was looking at it, that's uh, like a football field, things like that, and you can see a couple people down along the river over there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not, but we're gonna work our way back up here. Now, we're probably gonna hear life flight, uh, helicopters every once in a while if we do. That's because they're flying into the hospital that's over in Danville. Yeah, if, we, if there's any emergencies, we'll we'll hear some helicopters. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head back up this bank. I'm gonna turn off the camera <laughs> because I'm gonna use the tripod as a trekking pole to get up this steep bank. All right, I'll see you when we're up on top. So we're just walking across this grass again. You can see the fence that we're going to duck behind. I, there's no cars. And really no activity behind me. So it's not like I got to run because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> right? All right. So, yeah, you can see the river there. Just make our way back into camp. All right. It's, you can't really tell, but it's definitely... Uh, Starting to darken up out. Yeah. Nice. There's our river. And that's a look behind me. That's the fence that we're behind. All right. Let me get over and just, I might uh, fire up that thermocell for a while because bugs are starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah, I was swatting them away, but nothing's biting me yet. That's a good thing. All right. Let me get back over to my bag here. hammock <laughs> and there's our bag and our chair and our table all right oh, that was a nice little walk <laughs> yeah it was all right yeah so I'm gonna get the thermocell out now this is the newest thermocell it gives a 20 foot radius so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and it's gonna take take about 15 minutes to start operating uh in the meantime if any bugs come around i'll just swat at them <laughs> all right well i didn't put my pan away uh i gotta get that ziploc bag that i had i think i'm gonna use that i've already got it started with some trash but i am gonna put my pot in there and then i'll clean it out when i get home actually i got a little rag here i'll just do that now So I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean this up. I'll talk to you uh, maybe when it gets uh, dark. All right. So I'll see you when it gets dark. Kind of like that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's, uh, hey, it's we're back. It's dark. It's getting late. I can hear all the crickets and the tree frogs. Man, it's nice being down here along the river. It's a different sound than when you're out in the woods. I mean, it's similar, but but kind of different. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna make some cowboy coffee. Now, I'm only gonna drink a little bit of this, but I wanna make it tonight so that we have it for in the morning uh, so we can throw it <laughs> at ice and have iced coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna make a fair amount of it. Uh, about. 600 liters yeah. or no not 600 liters that'd be 600 mls <laughs> so this is a a one liter bottle so we're gonna use about three quarters of it how's that <laughs> i'm better with that 
then liters and mls all right so we're going to use our fryer maple kettle and we are going to just set it right on top of our burner but i've got coffee here now i went ahead and ground up that coffee that emma brown had sent us and got it in this container because ah, i didn't want to grind it out here bring all that extra grinder just because i wasn't sure what this spot was going to look like it's a whole got a heavy dose of coffee in there. All right, so with Calvite co coffee, you just pour it right in the kettle, pour it in the water, bring it to a boil, let it cool down, maybe pour a little cold water once it's done in the spout, and that'll settle the grounds right to the bottom, and then you just pour it raw. And we don't have to heat it up in the morning because we're going to have iced coffee with that thermos. Yeah. I was going to put that Sizzle Cafe coffee in there, uh, but I think I'm just going to make this coffee uh, tonight and then let it cool down overnight. I'll cover that spout and then it'll be good in the morning. All right, so let me get this fired up. oil might turn that up a little bit and get a little quicker all right yeah very nice so i did uh, walk out because i wanted to see if that merc sign is lit and it's lit and you can see the gate where the employees come out that's that red light that's blinking down there yeah all right well i'll bring you back when this is boiling about ready to boil boil go ahead and turn that down Alrighty, there we go it's done pull it off the burner so I don't knock it off the burner all right so I'm gonna pour just a little bit of cold water in the spout and that'll make all those grinds settle to the bottom so we don't get them in our cup not much just a little just a little bit yeah yeah so I got this um, you can hear ducks out there every once in a while. I don't know if you heard it or not, but yeah, so I got this light. Um, that's what that pole's for. You put that pole on the end, on that corner, and that gives you a great place to hook your light. Yeah, you can see it right there. Really neat. All right, so that's kind of lighting up this spot. Yeah, I hear lots of noises. <laughs> so, uh, but. All right, we're just gonna have a little bit of coffee. We're not gonna drink much, maybe about a quarter of a cup. All right, because I want that for tomorrow morning, like I was saying. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I am gonna have a little dessert. So when we did our Christmas in July, we did that Christmas tree farm and that windstorm, wind and rainstorm came up. I didn't get to eat some of the stuff in MRE, MRE menu number seven. One of the things that I did not eat was this bread. So you got a pack of, pack of bread and then there was peanut butter and also jelly it was uh, peanut butter and then what was it blackberry i think it was it was blackberry jam yes uh so yeah blackberry jam so blackberry jam and then peanut butter 
Now, lately I haven't been eating peanut butter because I, I don't think it's real good. <laughs> My stomach likes it like I used to. Uh, should I try it? I don't want to let it go to waste. Oh, and it's been months since I had peanut butter. You guys know I put uh, peanut butter in my ramen noodles with uh, tuna and <laughs> peanut butter. Yeah, no wonder my stomach is hurting. Some of you are saying, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go ahead and open this bread. Oh, it looks like a tough package to open. Oh, no, it's open. <laughs> I've never had bread out of an MRE. <laughs> it's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> it's more like a, a cracker. So, all right, there's our piece of bread. <laughs> it's, more, it's like a big cracker. Look at that. <laughs> all right, yeah. So we'll lay that down, and we'll open our open our peanut butter. Voila. There we have it, <laughs> our pizza cracker toast <laughs> with peanut butter and jam, blackberry jam. All right. Mm. <laughs> Not bad bread. Yeah, that's interesting. Looks like a cracker on the outside, but it is it's not real moist. <laughs> Well, at least it's not a cracker. Uh, hard to chew and sw well, it's not hard to chew, but it's dry. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna need the coffee to wash it down. I might have to drink that water. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So I did have this here. This is a, a Kodiak Crunch Bar. It's a peanut butter crunch bar. I'm probably not going to eat that. I'll probably save that for another trip. Because um, I'm eating this. <laughs> and I got still half of it to go. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. <laughs> enjoy this. It's not bad. It really, it's not that bad. I mean, I'll eat it. Yeah. Blackberry jam is good. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Probably when we're ready to climb in the hammock. When we're in there, I'll talk to you. Because soon it's going to be lights out. All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. So I am in the hammock for the night. So I got my top quilt down there. I don't need it. I'm, I'm pretty warm right now. Especially after drinking that coffee. But you can see I've got... <laughs> that light right up oh <laughs> light switch right there and that utility bag is right up there i got a battery bank in it the usb one and the lights hanging from the from the cord right there from our ridge line all right and it's lighting it up pretty nice and that's only on the lowest setting i mean i can get that thing really bright uh but yeah i'm not seeing any boats out on the water uh so that Anybody that was fishing, they're not going to be out this late. It's actually, right now, it's uh, 12, 15. Yeah. Oh, it's getting late, late. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep, and I will talk to you in the morning. Yeah, instead of hearing rain, we're going to hear them crickets all night. That is peaceful. Yeah. 
So the bug net working great. I don't see any bugs even coming after this light. I don't know. Bugs must not like me. <laughs> All right. So, well, let's do lights out. All right. I'm going to turn it off. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Nothing like being woke up by a train. <laughs> I thought I was on the tracks and it was coming at me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, I was blowing its horn and everything. Oh man, look at that river. It is a flowing. <laughs> yeah. I can't see the train. Man, I can hear it. That, that's close. That, I think just on the other side of that uh, field is the train track. Yeah. Oh. oh, remember not to get up on that side of the uh, hammock this morning. Yeah, right down there is the water. Don't want to be rolling down there and taking a swim. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, coffee sounds good to me this morning. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get up. Man, what a good night that was last night. I think I only woke up once. Until now. <laughs> Until that train went by. Yeah, that 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 scared me to wake. <laughs> that was uh I needed an alarm like that at home. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, what a comfortable hammock this is. All right, so right over there is our table, and that's where our coffee's at. So let me get up out of here, and uh, let's get coffee, get some water on for some breakfast. I think I'm going to have, I think I got two packets of oatmeal. Yeah. All right, let's do that. All right. Well, here we go. All right, I'm going to get up. Must be a, uh, a helicopter flying around over there. It's, I don't think that's part of Lifeline. There is an airport uh, down the road, just like a little community airport. Yeah, somebody must be doing some flying lessons out of there. All right, so we got our coffee in here. Oh, yeah. A little cricket on my kettle. <laughs> I hope there ain't none in it. Nope. <laughs> Nothing in there. All right. So, yeah, I am going to have oatmeal. Some Quaker oatmeal. Ooh, we better check on our ice. Because I want iced coffee this morning. I think it's thermos is down in here. Yeah. I think that's like a little sewer plant thing. Alright. Yeah, they just went down inside of it. They just truck pulled up, unlocked the gate. They parked a front end loader there. 
so I waited about 10 minutes and uh, they got in the vehicle, they locked the gate and they headed out. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee <laughs> before we were rudely interrupted. <laughs> It's still got ice in it. All right. It's only about a, about a little bit of melted ice in there. All right, there's our iced coffee. You heard the ice, man. That thing kept it cold all night long. It only melted a little bit. I only got like uh, two, well, one and a half swallows of water. So not much. Ice is right to the top. Ah, boy, is that ever good. So I don't know what their plans are over there. If they're coming back. I wonder if I'd just hold off on the oatmeal, pack up, and get out of here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah. our camo is working out perfect. Yeah, but we've come this far. I don't wanna get caught with a hammock up. Now, if I was just sitting here with the table, eating, that'd be different. I can say, oh, I just swung in here to look at the lake or the river and eat breakfast. But <laughs> I got the hammock all strung up and everything. So before they come back, I'm going to go ahead and pack up, get this all tore down, and talk to you right before we hike on out of here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Camo down. I got some of my stuff put away. They just backed another pickup truck in. I think they're gonna take that uh, front end loader. Alright. I gotta get the hammock down yet. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna hide for a second. Yeah, they just opened the gate. They're gonna be working here. Oh, man, what am I gonna do? Yeah. I think I just just go ahead and rip it down, stuff it in my backpack, get the table put away, and then just when they're working there, just kind of walk out of the woods like uh oh, and just don't make eye contact. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right. Oh man. All right. Let me get this uh, hammock down. Got my backpack all packed up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, they're working right there. Oh, this is, I, I don't, I'm not busted yet, but I got the backpack all <laughs> behind me. I'm, 
This big old maple. Yeah, it's a big maple tree. Yeah, it's a good thing it's there. All right. Like I said, I'm all packed up. Got my backpack. Should I just throw it on and get going? Just walk out of here like nothing, nothing's happening? I don't know. I think that's the best bet. So I'm going to call this a success because we're all packed up and we're all done. Mission accomplished. All right. So it may just be a contractor working for Merck in that spot. So, uh, all right, what's next? How about we cue the music? But keep it down. <laughs> All right, there it is. Hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. If you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And uh, remember, it's just one adventure at a time. If you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. And uh, oh, we still got to walk out of here. All right, I got to get this backpack on. And I'll tell you what, I'll see you on the next random adventure. Tony. 2.0 out. I might wait just a couple of some more. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. All right. Here we can go.